Hey, welcome to the Virtually Speaking Podcast. My name is Pete Fletcher, and joining me as usual, back from VMware Explorer, is my good friend, Mr. John Nicholson. John, how you doing, man? I'm relaxing, parting the horse's <laughs> mane. Pulse the monkey. Busy week, huh? Yeah, no, it's uh, the week after is always kind of, I feel like, my relaxation time. I've even got the studio lights off. It's a bit darker in here. I'm just... <sighs> recovering, <laughs> putting together trip reports, and getting ready for Barcelona. Barcelona. Absolutely. Yeah, it's been a crazy week uh, of interviews, Barcelona. of sessions, of conversations all in Las Vegas. Good to see you again. Uh, but yeah, we were not alone this time. We actually brought uh, a good friend of the show and a fellow podcaster, Tony Reeves. Tony joined the Virtually Speaking Podcast crew at Vegas. Tony, welcome to the podcast. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me again. Yeah, man. So uh, whew, what? I don't even know where to begin. So I do want to talk about some of the announcements, uh, uh, share some of the uh, some of the conversations that we had. Uh, but before that, I just want to talk a little bit about like the setup uh, at Explore and, and what was what was going on for us. Man, the very first thing was, man, Tony came in like a pro. John, he came in and blew my mind. He, he we're setting up in the uh, in the hub, and Tony shows up with professional light kits on these huge stands, which was I was amazing. expecting a GoPro. I was expecting a GoPro. <laughs> so for for those of you who normally listen to the audio feed, I'd encourage you to check out the video feed for some of these interviews because yeah, yeah, the uh, th this was definitely a, a significant rise in quality. Yeah, for sure. Uh, he's Tony's got some beautiful Sony gear as well, and I won't bore everybody with all the dirty details. I'm sure. I'm sure Tony has that listed somewhere, and we can share it on the show notes sure. of the podcast. But man, it's Sony what AS4, but amazing lenses, uh, the whole kit. Man, he he came in looking like he was uh, like he was part of the event staff. You know, the the main filming crew uh, made us look like rock stars, which I really appreciated. No, oh, thanks, guys. Well, I had a lot of fun. We had a lot of gear. You know, we had an A camera, a B camera. We had, you know, some audio challenges, but we you know we made it work. I was glad to be a part of it. Yeah, for sure. And, and on that note, I will say, for those that are using a little geek note here, but if, if has anyone ever seen these? These are the uh, the DGI, DJI wireless lapels. These things are fantastic. So we brought two of these, uh, and these were like our main microphones, and we hooked them up into some uh, 3D print microphones. Here, let me get that real quick. So yeah, we had these 3D print microphones, which are pretty cool. I mean, like you can actually, you know, we plug the lapels into these. And so it made for a very convenient setup to give our, our crew, uh, to give our guests microphones, which was really cool. Mm -hmm. Problem was, man, when you do two of those, <laughs> the, uh, the, there was a bit of a interference. And so some of our interviews were, uh, were a little garbled. And so fortunately, we had some local recordings as well. So you always got to have backups. <laughs> yep. Uh, but man, yeah, that, that, that in itself uh, created a little stress. But to add to that, we had 24 episodes that we recorded in three days, <laughs> which was, John, I don't know about you, man, but my voice is, uh, my voice is pretty shocked. Pretty fried. Yeah, it's. Uh, I was a bit scratchy by the end. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, the announcements. Forget about it. There were so many great ones. You know, uh, VMware Private AI, which I thought was interesting. Uh, we spoke to several folks about that. We spoke to you know to Ragu, of course, uh, but we also spoke to some of the folks from the vSphere team uh, that are working uh, very closely with uh, Nvidia uh, uh, for the VMware Private AI Foundation with Nvidia. And uh, yeah, announcements with vSAN. We, we got several folks from that. We got, I mean, like I said, I'm not going to go through every episode, but we spoke to Kit, uh, you know, who gave us the, you know, the intelligent assistant uh, uh, update and lots of really good conversations. So what we're, what we're going to do, instead of just completely bombard everybody with everything right on the spot, we're going to try and trickle these out. But uh, the good news is, is each one of these episodes is really only about 10 minutes each. So they're like micro conversations uh, with lots of links to, to more detailed information about the various announcements. Uh, yeah, that was cool. Customer conversations. Uh, yeah, partner conversations. It was a pretty good week. What about you, John? I was going to say, I the just the the frequency of the interviews in terms of the the content that was coming through um i feel like oftentimes these shows are dominated by a new buzzword you know a couple of years ago it would have been kubernetes or cloud native we would have said every third word yeah um ai and gen ai is kind of the buzzword of this year 
Um, but I feel like it wasn't something that just drowned out, um, you know, what the people are looking for, which is, you know, improvements to the core products, improvements to vSphere, improvements to, um, for usability that that's for more than the fortune 10. And, and frankly, even some of the buzzwordy things, the IML, like this is there's, I went and saw some of the demos and some of this stuff. Um, it really is just helping normal people operate with the products. So. I know sometimes when you look at these announcements, these conferences, you can go down the list and be like, oh, wow, you know, we've got they, they support 512 cores instead of 256. You know, I'm never going to buy yeah. a host that big. But I feel like there were announcements that were in here that um, everyone can appreciate or at least could see themselves appreciating at some point, if that makes sense. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Lots of good stuff there. Tony, Tony, you uh, obviously you're no stranger to VMware Explore. I know you've attended uh, many years as community member, as a member of the vSAN team. These days, I think you're working in the uh, uh, what is the name of the group that you're in now? Uh, currently in digital presales. So we're kind of an overlay to the field core. Ah, OK, yeah. So what was your takeaway from this year at Explore? I, there was an awful lot to take in. And of course, we were very busy doing the interviews. So unfortunately, I only got to attend one actual, well, two official sessions. One was done by um, the NSX team, the NSX mindset session. That was pretty cool. Uh, lots of good information there. And then the other one would have been an NSX uh, session with my buddy, Britton Johnson, who was doing an, a healthcare session with some customers. So it was kind of cool to see him present for the first time. Um, I think overall, the most interesting things that I saw were... A, a, mainly around vSAN and some of those customer stories that we heard. Yeah. Uh, some of the, you know, the 10X performance improvements for that one customer that was running from going from OSA to ESA. That was really interesting to see that. Uh, and just a lot of great content that we got just on the podcast in our little area there in the hub. Yeah, for sure. That was, uh, I think that was the uh, U.S. Senate uh, Federal Credit Union. They moved over yep. to ex to the express storage architecture and uh, yeah, 10X gain for their, for their applications, which is uh, <laughs> pretty significant if you ask yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I agree. That was interesting. Uh, John John did several sessions. Uh, you know, for for he was doing some vSAN workshops, but we also did the podcast. Uh, and the only thing I hated about that was it was on Thursday. I, I officially do not like presenting on Thursdays for many reasons. One, of course, because you know. Wednesday after night. the party. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. And then everybody's ready to go home. But yeah, even that, like just uh, nevertheless, we actually did have a very good conversation. Our panel was Great. awesome. We, we had, um, so we, we had three various, uh, three different people. Our conversation was about cloud data management uh, and some of those complexities, some of the challenges. And so we, we kind of spread the panel. We started with uh, our CTO uh, for uh, data, which is, uh, uh, Sazala ready. And uh, we also had, uh, from a VMware cloud perspective, we had Ahmad Yunus. Uh, and then to round out the panel, we, we actually had Jad Elzine from the, uh, from the, from, he used to, it used to be Aria Hub, but now it's Tan, Tanzu Hub. Uh, and yeah, so he had a really exciting uh, perspective just around AI in the cloud. So I thought it was a pretty good uh, conversation. What about you, John? What, what I liked is you had kind of Cezala starting with like the lower level you know, as the classic kind of storage guy and more closer to the the hypervisor, so to speak. You had kind of, uh, you know, the uh, the middle uh, with a mod, which is fun because he, he had the perspective of how we deploy these platforms across clouds and how people consume them kind of at that level. And then you get all the way to Aria Hub where they're running a real SaaS service. They're much more closely aligned to the application um, or the developer persona. And just the different importances uh, prescribed to different things, uh, so to speak. It's it's not to say that these things aren't important, but like kind of under getting a better view of what each level, so to speak, cares about with data uh, was fun. I agree. I agree. Uh, the venue was great. I enjoyed being back in Vegas. I officially like in term for I don't really love Vegas in general. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not someone that's going to spend my vacation time there. But if you're going to be at a conference, I think it's a great venue. I mean, so many, uh, <laughs> yeah, everything's close. You know, the food is fantastic. And uh, yeah, oddly enough, this year, it actually uh, rained a lot <laughs> in Vegas, which was unique. It, it did. I'm a I'm a big fan of that. I mean, my hotel for the for the week was 500 versus 500 a night and SFO. So that's a huge difference, you know, to a lot of our customers too. They don't have big budgets for SFO. So it was good to see that everybody back there. And for me personally, even though I've been to VMworld in the past, this was my first Explorer and my first conference as an employee. So uh, it was a 
d- quite a different perspective, uh, but it was it was good to see everybody, people I hadn't seen in you know five years since the last time I went to VMworld in 2018. So the big part of, of it for me was you know seeing all the people in community, friends, coworkers, etc. So I, I can tell that you were a you know a, net, a network engineer at some point because you refer to locations by the nearest airport code, um, <laughs> which I've seen in way too many host names in my life. I'm like SFO, so yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good observation there. Yeah. So yeah, we spent a week in LAS then. <laughs> yeah. 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 Good stuff. So yeah, short and sweet. Uh, we did, as, as I mentioned, record several uh, episodes, uh, several great conversations. I mean, there's been, there were some announcements around VMware Cloud, sort of the evolution of VMware Cloud and and what's going on with uh, with VMware's uh, solutions there. Uh, and so we, get, we had some great conversations with folks like, uh, you know, like senior execs about just telling us the, the whole vision. Uh, so we're gonna release some of those. Yeah, obviously vSAN Max was a big announcement. Uh, mm-hmm. We had some conversations with uh, senior product management uh, on that. And uh, yeah, we're going to start to trickle, trickle these out. We spoke to some folks on some of the announcements with, with uh, ransomware recovery. I think uh, they're incorporating vSAN snapshots. There's a couple of other key key enhancements to the vSAN, uh, sorry, to the VMware ransomware recovery. Uh, yeah, but man, I can't even think of all the episodes that we had, but we did we were fortunate enough to get a really, uh, really solid representation of all of the announcements uh, that we're going to be able to share throughout the next week or so. Barcelona. So uh, Barcelona is right around the corner, Barcelona. and uh, John and I will be there again. Hopefully, we can talk Tony into coming with us, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Stop us! Stop us! Stop us! Yeah. Bravas! <laughs> Tony, are you going to lug all of your gear all the way across the uh, the globe for us? <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. We'll see. Yeah, <laughs> it, it would be nice. I don't know. I'm not sure we can make that one happen, but um, I for sure have signed up for next year. So, yeah, for sure. It was a great experience. It was a great week. Uh, I it was very positive. Uh, yeah, you know, minus the fact that there wasn't enough water on the, on the showroom floors uh, would probably be my, be my only critique. Uh, you know, I'm so used to conferences where there's just like everywhere you go there's just water <laughs> yeah the, hey, we're the, in a desert we're in a desert you got to conserve water there's a, yeah there's a water <laughs> shortage <laughs> for the first time in my life i was looking at john i was so jealous john had like uh you know it was like we were out in the desert and john had like canteens you know of water <laughs> I had 30 32 ounce water flask i got from radio and that thing I, by the way if you're looking to upgrade your conference experience just get a water, get a hydro flask, like not a bottle, not a lit, you know, yeah. you can't spill. And, and what's fun is you can load more than water in there. You can put coffee in there. If you, you know, the guy who, let's say you are excessively hydrated. Well, 32 ounces of coffee will fix that. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then you'll yeah. have a different problem. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, the contrast to that was me uh, searching the uh, venue for empty water coolers, like <laughs> one after the next. Uh, but either way, the, it was a great experience. It was a great week. Uh, I had it was great reuniting with so many folks. Other podcasts like IT Reality, um, the Unexplored Pod uh, Territory, uh, as well as uh, <clears throat> uh, you know you guys doing your podcast. And so there were so many different groups there. It was cool to re- reunite with the community uh, and uh, and to just see everybody again. So I was really happy that we had this opportunity, and I am looking forward to doing it again in Barcelona. Uh, yeah, with that, I'm going to leave you guys with uh, a few episodes this week. <laughs> uh, probably leave you with one uh, that I thought was pretty funny with Ragu. Uh, we'll probably publish that one later today. <laughs> uh, Ragu is always great with us. He's super, super fun. He had all the, the good information, but boy, he did not, uh, he did not hold back on making fun of me, which I, I always enjoy. <laughs> yeah. We've got he some really, good outtakes. <laughs> he comes out swinging for Pete. So yeah, please listen to this episode. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we we put some stuff in the outtakes, uh, so you have to listen to the end to get to the real fun part. But yeah, he's always. I a just good imagine sport. he gets the same like four questions from analysts all week, and he takes out his frustration on Pete. Like it's <laughs> it's great. <laughs> uh, I enjoy I, I enjoy our conversations with him. He's always fun. So yeah, look yeah, for that cool. and others. And uh, yeah, and, if, and as I mentioned, we did speak to a lot of folks. Uh, we we did hand out a lot of swag, uh, a lot of t shirts and stickers and. Uh, we had a lot of good conversations with listeners, and uh, everyone I spoke to, I asked, and, and I'll, so I'll ask as well here. Uh, if you've got any recommendations of uh, speakers or topics that you're interested in, let us know. We're always looking for new people to come on and join the conversation. So with that, I'm going to let you guys 
go and uh, uh, enjoy the rest of your week. And I hope to see you in Barcelona. 